Hey guys, Andy Elliott. In this video, I want to talk to you about my take on substances like weed, drugs, porn, and alcohol, okay? Now listen to me, the reason why I'm gonna share this stuff with you guys is because I want you guys to go to another level. So if I always talk sales, always talk business, always talk money, and I don't talk about this stuff, you may never get that stuff because of some of these vices. So check this video out, it's gonna help you out a lot. Up, no sunlight, so cold, sleep is nice, so tired, my eyes fight, they just want to close back up. Alright guys, Andy Elliott, in this video I want to talk to you about porn. When have I ever talked to you about porn? Never. But now we're getting to the point now, we're training over 500,000 salespeople, we get 150 million views every 28 days on social media. I think I need to start talking to you guys a little bit, I'm not trying to become this space of this person, but about some things are, that are some core values that I live by so I can share it with you, okay? That's it, alright? So if you look up to me, you know, if I mentor you, if you like what I have to say, I want you to hear me out on this, okay? So number one, how I think about weed and substances and stuff like that, things that are drugs that literally like dilute the way you think, I'll include alcohol into that as well, okay? I need you to understand this. I never want to lose my state. I always want to be in control. Now, I'm not telling you that you don't have a group of buddies, okay? A group of friends that you trust, that you can find a safe place. No, a safe place because you go out and you get in a car, you drink, you go out and get into a fight, you go to a bar, you hit some guy, he hits on your girl slaps you on the ass, you knock him out, he dies. Dude, you're in prison now. That fast, your life's over. So when it comes to drinking, I would say, you know, two times a year, three times a year, you find a group of people that you love, that you trust, that you can go to a safe place. If you want to have a drink with them, that's all on you. You know what I'm saying? That, that's completely up to you. But I would tell you, if you're going to do it, do it that way. Because people that do it the other way, they always tend to get into trouble and trouble will always find you when you're out and drinking. And if you don't know what I'm saying, I mean, you'll know one day and you'll be like, damn, I should have listened to you. Okay, drugs. Um, I don't like to alter my state. I see a lot of guys that, you know, they do drugs. They say, man, I want to go home and after a long day, I want to smoke weed and relax. Why would you want to wind down, dude? Your goal is to keep your edge. Stay sharp. Stay strong. You don't want to wind down. If you go home at night and you're wanting to be a savage and you go smoke weed, and instead of studying, staying fired up, letting your mind race and being like, dude, I'm going to keep growing my business. Dude, you're smoking weed and you're giving it all back and you're getting stupider. And also, dude, you're not going to wake up the next morning and go smash the gym either because your body's asleep and you're freaking putting crap in you. Dude, if you go home at night and you're like, dude, it's been a long day. I'm going to go have a drink. I need to go home and have a beer. Number one, dude, it's disrespectful if you have a family at home that's been waiting on you all day long because you've been working to go home and now you're saying, I'm with them. I'm supposed to bring special energy, in energy to them and I'm going home and having a drink because they're worthless to me. Dude, you should go home and have a blast with them and not be drinking. Secondly, if it is just you and you go home and you're winding down to have a drink, why would you want to wind down? Wind up. Is your bank account where you want it? Wind up, dude. Turn the training on. Train, get better. Did Kobe Bryant go home and have a drink and wind down? Or did he wind up? All right, put it on the calendar, November 28th, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm gonna be releasing the news that's going to shake the world. If you've ever wanted to work with me, if you've ever wanted to be a part of my team, if you've ever wanted to impact the world, change people's lives, and make more money, I'm going to be releasing something that's going to stream through the world and change millions of people's lives, and I need you. So. Be on the lookout, November 28th, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I will be going live on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, every place I can possibly find. I'm gonna be streaming live, so you need to set your calendars now. And if you show up live, on the call, I'm gonna be dropping one of my courses that I'll be giving away to all of you who show for free. So, even if you want a free course, show up and you wanna change your life. See you on the call. Dude, if you're, and you're like, Andy, but you don't understand how these things drive the distress. I just lost this big deal. Dude, feel that pain and lean into that shit. Why would you want to give away that pain? I use that pain when somebody burns me, when somebody screws me. I know people right now, they get screwed, so they go get drunk. Like they, somebody burns them or lies to them or they, they lose their best customer, they have their, their worst day. They're like, I need to go have a drink. Dude, why don't you feel that and understand it and let it bother you? That's called being alive. Like, don't you want to be alive? Like what, you only want to be sober when shit's good and then when it's bad, you want to go get drunk? Well, that's stupid. Because if you're ever going to make it to any great level of life, you're going to have to go through a lot of hard shit. 
okay, which you can't be drinking when you're going through it. Matter of fact, you need to lean into it, fill it, and overcome it, and, and become great, okay? So substances and drinking, like that's stupid, okay? And then I want to get into porn for a minute. I'm going to tell you this, right? I think we're in an era right now that people literally get what they want the second that they they want it, and that's why nobody has anything, all right? So if I right now was like, dude, I want to go and, you know, I want to feel good, so I'm going to go like, watch some porn. Well, dude, first of all, that's fake. That's that's not real. So you're never going to have anything real in your life and you set this standard that that's how I live. And what's crazy is that you get your endorphins firing off on porn instead of getting your endorphins firing off on watching you grow your bank account. Okay? If you had the choice right now, you're at home and you're about to log into your computer and you're like, dude, I'm going to watch porn or I'm going to go watch sales training or how to run a business, or how to be a master closer, or how to be a master communicator, or how to be a public speaker, or how to grow my brand, or how to... Guys, I mean, I need you to understand this. If you go this road, number one, it just proves you're undisciplined. And then number two, if you went this road and you could say no to that, imagine if you could go through a season of saying no. Imagine if you had the power inside of you to tell your brain to shut the hell up and to say, we're not doing that, we're doing this. How powerful would that make you? How strong would that make you? How strong-willed would you become? You know, um, I was talking to a buddy of mine named Ed Milet, and he was saying that people, they somewhere along the way lose their will to win. They get to a certain point and then they sell out. Every day we need to be working on building our will to say no, to say no to things that we want to do but we know that aren't good for us. Is drinking alcohol good for us? No, say no. Is doing drugs good for you? No, say no. Listen, by the way, I'm being a good leader to you right now. Okay, some of you may say, man, I can do that and get away with it. Yeah, but one day you're not. Okay, do you want to really keep running the edge? You want to really keep testing yourself and seeing how far you can get? Is that really what you want? Dude, why don't you say no to all that and now you don't have anything to worry about? Take all that shit built up in you, come over here, train your ass off, build you a legacy. Now you don't have to watch porn. You'll have the hottest chick in the world. You won't do drugs because your life will be, you'll be high because of how amazing it is. And then alcohol, dude, I'm drunk on life, man. Dude, literally, if you don't understand how great life is, dude, you're missing it. Say no to this stuff. Say yes to this. So guys, as I'm building a massive business, we're building a massive following. I'm going to hit some topics sometimes that aren't normally the things that I talk about, but I want to talk to them with you because I know there's a lot of people giving a lot of bad shitty advice out there and I don't want you to get caught up in any of it and get caught up in one of those lies or get distracted, make a bad decision that you can't take back. Okay? So I love you guys. I got your back for life. Anything that I know I want to share it with you. Let's continue to grow. Let's keep killing it. Let's go through a season of saying no. Let's go do what's right and what we know we need to do. Let's build the life you deserve. Let's get it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.